think these manuscripts are very uh, important for anyone who wants to learn about this music and um, I suppose learn the intricacies of how the, the how it works on the fiddle and um, uh, so other than looking for tunes there's a lot of music that hasn't been I think well I haven't ever heard and um, lots of tunes that might have been played for a long time <laughs> I think especially for um, something I'm interested in is in, in, in the, the reel playing, the playing of reels uh, from this area. Um, certain patterns emerge in the music of Paddy Cronin and, and Dennis Murphy and, and Julia Clifford, which they got from O'Keefe and you hear them in O'Keefe music. So for example, there's um, just one thing that we could pick out is in this, in this reel here, um, which I play, there's um, a common pattern that emerges, which is just, the end of the the end of the phrase, um, not all the time, but often finishes like this, uh, with this sort of rhythm here. Um, something like that, with a sort of a swell, and you you end up you know, there are two pushing up bowls at the end, and um, uh, so I'll give you a demonstration. This tune, this is following the exa exact bowing. Of, from the manuscript. Um Having the manuscript just gives you that extra layer of depth and you're able to see exactly how it was taught and that it was a specific thing that was taught. And I think that's very exciting. format of uh, Boeing and knowing that that then influenced them for their whole lives is it's it's incredible to have this resource to, to then go and and and, and uh, draw from the same um, well <laughs> 